walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. Okay then, this is going to be another tricky one to record. This is Colin McRae Rally 2005 on the N-Gage and I'm just going to be knocking this thing all over the place trying to hold it still. That looks about the right position for it. The screen seems to be rather dark on this game though actually I might find it easier actually viewing this through the viewfinder because the uh, auto brightness seems to compensate quite well. You can have different views, we'll just show you some of those. I haven't yet decided which is my favourite. You certainly get to see a bit further into the distance using this kind of view. But actually controlling the car seems easier like this. Oops. And after playing that MotoGP game last week, this is a breath of fresh air in every way possible. Graphically vastly superior. The car handles well. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is the quality of that co-driver's voice. It's really tinny and horrible. And I can't really hear what he's saying. And that's exacerbated by the fact that I'm talking all over him. But other than that, this is great. It compares well with the um, Gizmondo version. It's not quite as good, but it's not bad. And, whoops. I mean, it totally kicks ass out of that MotoGP game. This just looks brilliant. It, it would make, it makes it worth carrying, it would make it worth carrying a, uh, a, a, a an N-Gage around in your pocket. God, I'm, I'm brain fade there. It just switched off and... Yeah, no, it is. It, it, it's impressing the hell out of me. I had been, I wouldn't say I was ready to dismiss the N-Gage as a piece of junk, because I knew it was halfway decent. And, I, you know, the controls are still awkward because of all the buttons, and the screen is too small by a long shot. And I am finding it easier to play through the camera viewfinder because it's improving the brightness. How you're seeing this is not actually how you would be seeing it if you were um, playing the game on the handheld. It would be a lot dimmer. Um, but the, the, the camera is boosting the brightness, which is great. Not really practical if you wanted to be playing the game normally. <laughs> you can't be sitting there at the bus stop holding your N-Gage whilst you've got a camera on a tripod pointing at the N-Gage screen and you know what I mean. Yeah, that's not practical. I don't know if there's a way of boosting the screen brightness. It, it could do with it, to be honest. But all that aside, I mean, when you can see the game, and right now you can see the game, it's great! It's bloody awesome. Um, I'm kind of... I've never really decided whether I like rallying games or not. I wouldn't say I'm especially good at them. I like V-Rally. But I didn't like the Colin McRae games on the PS1. I know they were more realistic and everything, but I, I, I found them a bit hard. This I'm finding very, very playable. I don't know what my score... Where was my score? I'm on second place. So just in case you wondered, I am apparently playing in Finland, so uh, I've got to be careful. I don't want to go like careening off the side of the track, crashing through the trees and find myself parked in um, Polo Ventris's little cabin. Well, it's not even little, is it? Big cabin. His new cabin that he's building. Yeah, I, you know, I'd like to pull up outside and say hi, but the way I'm driving I probably would plough into it. And that wouldn't be good. And if you don't know who Polar Ventris is, well, look him up on YouTube because he's great. And Finland does look bloody gorgeous, doesn't it? So, 
snow and trees and more snow and more trees. So there's no snow here, but um, so some of these trees look more like. <laughs> Whoops! Some of these trees look kind of exotic, like like you'd expect them on a desert island or something. I can't get back on the road. What the hell? All right, we'll just. Let's chuck it in a lake. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah. This is me on my driving lesson. That was um, Lady Bower Reservoir. Um, <clears throat> I don't go past there on my driving lessons. And it's probably a good job. Oof. Oh dear. My back's starting to hurt now, so I'm fidgeting. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop because this is hurting. But it's it I think you can see. It's great. It it has um I can't think of the word. My enthusiasm for the end gauge is considerably boosted by this game because it's good. It makes it worth turning the end gauge on. You know, some I've got other games for it that, like, you know, they're all right, but I, I, they're not something I'll think. Yes, I want to play that, but yes, I want to play this, and that can only be a good thing. And it was cheap; it cost me a fiver, and I got it from Portugal. They shipped it over. It took about a week to get here. Um, brilliant! Very, very pleased. All right, thank you for watching.